Now in this lesson we're looking at the hyperbola, the cubic and the exponential graphs. Let's start with the cubic curve. Have our number plane there. Now y equals x cubed is the basic cubic curve and it looks like that. Other examples of cubic curves, y equals x cubed minus 4x minus 2 for example would look like that. And y equals minus x cubed plus 2 would look like that. All right. Notice the negative x cubed is going in the opposite direction. So all of those examples of the cubic curve, notice that in their equation, right, the x is being cubed, that's the highest power of x. We now move to the hyperbola. Again there's our axes. Now an example of a hyperbola would be y equals 6 over x. It would look something like that. Now y equals 6 over x can also be rewritten as xy equals 6. All right? They are identical equations. Let's consider another one. This time y equals minus 6 over x. Another way of writing that, xy equals minus 6. Well this time the graph looks like that. So back with our original one. When we have y equals positive 6 on x rather than the negative, when we have the positive, we get the graphs in the first and the third quadrants. On the other hand, when y equals negative 6 on x, okay, y is the equal to the negative of the x term, we get the graphs drawn in the second and fourth quadrants. Now another example, y equals 6 over x minus 1. Well this time the graph looks like that and because it's not singularly over x, okay, in this case over x minus 1, it means that axis okay, has been shifted across. Right, now that red dotted line is called an asymptote. Right, the curve will approach that line but never touch it. Excellent. Now what about the exponential curve? Well there's our axis again. An example, y equals 2 to the power of x, okay, where the x is the power, 2 to the power of x. That looks like that. Another example there, y equals 2 to the minus x, similar graph but going the opposite direction. And what about y equals 2 to the x plus 1? Well that's our original graph, 2 to the x but shifted up one unit. Alright, so in this case the red line there would be what's known as a horizontal asymptote. Now let's look at an example. We're asked to graph the curve with equation y equals 3 on x. So with all of these sort of equations we're just going to use our number plane and fill out a table and plot points. So that'll be the procedure for all of these graphs. Now when x is minus 6 we substitute in, we get 3 divided by minus 6, that's minus 0.5. When x is minus 4, we substitute 3 divided by minus 4 is minus 0 0.75. We substitute minus 3. 3 divided by minus 3 is minus 1. When x is minus 2, 3 divided by minus 2 is minus 1.5. We continue. Substitute x equal to minus 1. We get 3 divided by minus 1. That's minus 3. Now, what about this one? When x equals 0, 3 divided by 0. What do you think the answer is there? Did you say 0? Well if you did that's wrong. Okay, 3 divided by 0 can't be done. Put a cross there, it's undefined. Alright, if you divide anything by 0 you will get an error. So moving on now, when x is 1, 3 divided by 1 is 3. When x is 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. When x is 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. When x is 4, 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. And finally then, when x is 6, 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5. So we've completed that table as is. But let's go back to when x is 0. Right, there's going to be a break in the graph there because we couldn't get a value of y when x is 0. So a good idea then to choose a couple of other values of x around about 0. So we'll add on to the table. We'll choose when x is minus 0 0.5 and when x is 0 0.5. Okay, two values close to 0. So when we substitute, 
we're going to get 3 divided by minus 0 0.5, we get minus 6. And then 3 divided by 0 0.5 gives us 6. At this stage now, let's start plotting some points. Right, that set of coordinates will give us that point. The next set of coordinates, next set of coordinates, we keep on going. Right, remember when x is 0, okay, there's going to be a break in the graph. Okay, there's 1, 3, there's 2, 1.5, 3, 1, we keep on going. All right, then we're plotting values here closer to the when x is 0, so minus a half and minus 6 gives us the point down there. And the next one, a half and 6, half across 6 up gives us that point. Phew, okay, our final step now, let's graph the curve and label it with its equation. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.